Damn, Sufia George, I'm just a hillbilly, I got no education, don't know shit about science or how things really happen, I'm an ignorant hillbilly and all I got is my bumfuck religion, and I can tell you about that pile of bear shit too, Sufia George. So I don't think you can help me, y'all hearing me, Sufia George? Yes, I can see that you are certainly a bumfuck hillbilly now. And you write books, books, see. And I can barely read my own name, so what good is them books to me, Sufia George? Yes, I can see that you are certainly an illiterate bumfuck hellbilly now. And you make videos and them videos is way over my head. I mean it's like what the freaking fuck is he talking about? Yes, I can see that you are certainly an illiterate media exempt bumfuck hellbilly now. So, Sufia George, you have got to make it all real simple to me, like for a kid. I know your ass is up to something Sufia George and I wanna hear it and I hope it's gonna help me. Very well, then. Or should I just say, good. Anyway, we can start at the very beginning. The first step is learning something and understanding it. Can you handle that? Reckon so, Sufia George. That don't sound too hard, except how hard is it learning part? Well, let's find out. Let's learn a little more about you. For starters, how do you make your living? You mean like work? Oh, I got my own business. Advertising stickers that stick on my dog's back. And then I walk the dog. Folks look at them stickers like crazy. So I charge 10 bucks a sticker and I walk the dog a lot. I change them stickers around. Some for morning, like that. So I would say maybe 15 or 20 stickers a day. I got it easy living. Hmm, sounds interesting. I may try that one myself. Well, that's enough of getting to know you. Let's try the first step. Have you ever heard of frequency waves? Them's them big words again, Sufi George. Yeah, I heard them before, but I ain't certain I know what they mean, not for sure at all. We are screwed. That's the starting point. You have to know about frequency waves. If you don't know that, well, that's the minimum requirement, so we are really screwed. Well hell's bells. Sufi George, you ain't even gonna teach me about them freaky waves. Frankly, I hadn't thought of that. Not a bad idea. I just moved the starting point back a few notches. Hmm, yes, okay, I will teach you frequency waves. A wave is invisible, but it looks like this, like a wavy line. Okay, I know about waves, like water makes waves, like that. I don't know about that invisible part, though. That's getting a little, well, a little creepy in the neck, for me. Invisible means that you can't see it. Like when you're in the dark and you can't see things even though you know the things are there. Okay, so them freaky waves is there but they's invisible. Too dark out to see them. I think you've got it. So a frequency wave looks like a line that is wiggling, like a worm. You can't see it, but you know it's there, wiggling away. Right, Sufi George. So how's I know that it's there if I ain't seen it? Because we have instruments that can see them. Your radio is an instrument that can see invisible frequency waves and it turns them into music. So you can't know that the frequency waves are there by seeing them yourself, but you can use instruments that can see them. You mean my radio works on frequency waves? I never thought about what made it work before, just turn it on to the Grand Ole Opry and kick back. So if I use right, I can't see frequency waves myself, but I can get it all secondhand from instruments. But that don't prove nothing about frequency waves, just somehow my radio works. Just pretend that you can see frequency waves, okay? And you see them as wiggly lines, and like looking in a can of worms, there are many of them, all twisting around each other. Got the picture? Fine, that's simple enough for me. I got the picture. Let's move on, then. A frequency wave is made of nothing. So not only is it invisible, it also doesn't exist as a thing made of matter. It don't exist so that's why we got to play pretend, right, Sufi George? But a frequency wave does exist as a pattern along the edge of reality. A pattern is just a picture in your mind that shows how to make something or do something. A pattern is an idea. With ideas, you don't need for things to really exist, all you need is the pictures in your mind in your thinking. Like imagination, I reckon. Yes, it is certainly just so. Now, 
Since we are pretending that frequency waves are real even though they are invisible and not material, let's move on to step two. Frequency waves travel. I was just thinking that, that the waves got to travel to get to my radio. Frequency waves travel very fast, so fast that you can't imagine it. It's so fast that they seem to be everywhere at the same time. And a lot of them are traveling, so many that you can't imagine it. The whole universe is packed with them. I reckon it leaves some wiggling room, though. Yes, you're right. They move around each other and with each other. And that takes us to step three. You were moving right along there, Sufi George. I'm with you. I've done lots of pretending in my time. Step three. Where are they going? Traveling so fast to go where? They go to many different places and do different things there. A group of them goes into your radio and come out of the speaker. Sound waves. I heard about them sound waves. Step four. Frequency waves are silent because they are just waves. They are just the patterns for the radio to read. They are invisible and not material and they are silent. So how can you hear the radio? That's easy. With my ears, Sufi George. Right. When the frequency waves travel from the radio speaker to your ears, they reach a place where your mind can hear and read the patterns. This is where the waves stop being silent. You can hear them inside of your head. Sufi George, that makes it sound like there ain't no sound in the world until some frequency waves ping in my ears. Yes, it is certainly just so. More amazingly, it is actually invisible light waves that send you patterns that you can see. Everything you see is coming from frequency waves that go into your eyes, and the first time anything is actually seen is when your mind reads the light waves and turns them into pictures. So there's nothing out there but frequency waves. The world is nothing but freaking invisible frequency waves. Yes, it is certainly just so. Nothing happens in the world out there. Everything that happens is happening inside of you. Hey, are we still pretending here, Sufi George? Because we better be. You were stepping in deep bear pile here seems to me. Ain't what I'm used to, y'all hearing me? Still pretending, so just go with it. Step 5, Understanding it. The world exists inside of you, and not out there somewhere. This is because of frequency waves. Frequency waves are just patterns for something, and until your mind reads them and makes them real, frequency waves are not real. Got it? I suppose. Kinda like listening to a story being told though, lots of imagination to be done. Okay, well that brings us up to my original step one. Step one is about what your mind really does with frequency waves. Pretending to know how your mind works gives you a chance to test it by making a wish come true lots of wishes and after a while you can stop pretending because you can see that it is all true so the story gets really good with them wishes and all ah it's a good touch there sufi george i can't hardly believe that i'm going to pretend to understand my mind though makes me think i'm ready for short winter snooze here sufi george yes there is certainly such a thing as soak time so you go take a snooze and i'll order some organic vegan mystery food